Even if you've never edited a video in your life, I'm gonna take you from total beginner to expert editor in 15 minutes using CapCut on your iPhone, Android, or tablet, leading your viewers to ask, how is that even possible? Let's dive in by creating a new project, clicking right here. When you create a new project, you're given the option to import your files, your video graphics, any files you're gonna use for the project. To stay organized, you wanna put all of the files you're gonna use for a given project in a separate folder on your phone. On your iPhone, it's in an albums folder. It's similar on an Android. So you just click here on the top left under recents and you scroll down and you can see your albums. And I have this album called Jennifer that has the files I'm gonna use for this project. Before you bring the files into CapCut, you might want to consider trimming them up a little bit so the editing process is easier once you're in CapCut. To trim a file before you bring it into CapCut, instead of clicking on these circles, you click right on the middle of the video and click in the middle of it again so you can stop it so it doesn't start playing. And then you click on Trim down here in the bottom left and you drag these yellow handles to go to the beginning of what you want to use. I'm about to start speaking there, so that's probably the beginning, and I've probably got some extra junk at the end. Let's see, ding, ding, ding. When I'm turning back to camera, that's obviously the end. We'll trim a little tighter once we get in there. So I just click on the check mark here, and now that file is trimmed. It's also the first one I'm gonna use in the project. And then I'm gonna bring in the other clips that we'll use in this project. You want to click on them in the order that you're going to be using in the project because that's the order that will show up in the timeline when you're in CapCut. You can change it after, but it's kind of nice to have things organized right from the get-go. So we'll just click on this order. I think this is the order. A lot of these look pretty similar. And bam, I hit add six. The video files are now in the project in the order we selected before we imported them. Let's do a quick overview of the interface now. If you want to exit CapCut, you click on this little X here. In fact, it looks like that. To go back into the project, which it automatically saves, you just click on the project you want to return to. Right here are the export settings. The video that I have used in my project is 4K, so we're gonna bump this up from HD to 4K. I shot the video that I appear in, in this thing mixed with Jennifer Lawrence at 24 frames a second. So I'm gonna bump that down to 24 frames a second. The recommended encoding rate is fine here. And if you want it to be a little more vibrant, you can click on Smart HDR, but we're not gonna use that. And we just click out of it by clicking below. And now we can see that this will be exported in 4K. This button here is used to export it. This is what your project looks like. Whatever you see here is what is going to appear in your video when you hit export. And you can see that by scrolling through here or hitting the playhead here. You've mentioned several times online that this button here allows you to go full screen just like that. To get out of full screen, you click it again. On the bottom of the interface, we have all of the tools that we can use to adjust, modify, and change the audio and video in our clips. And these buttons will change depending on what is highlighted. For example, if I click on this video clip here, you can see that the icons changed. If I click on one of the icons, you can see that the interface changes again. Also notice that when something in the timeline is highlighted, it puts a blue box around it up here in the video window. I have my Bluetooth mouse hooked up to my phone so you can see the cursor here on the screen, but some things work better with two fingers or just your fingers. For example, you can zoom in and out on the timeline using two fingers just by, by pinching. Right now I'm zoomed in as far as we can go and as I scroll through it, you can see the whole timeline pretty quickly. This also brings us to our next issue, which is the CapCut logo, which you can see right, right there it says CapCut. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can see it in the timeline better, just like that. Most people don't want the CapCut logo, so all you do is you click on it, and you know that it's clicked on because it is highlighted. You've got the white box around it, and then down here we just click Delete, which conveniently appeared as the option that we actually want. And bam, the CapCut logo is gone forever. Next, we're gonna learn how to actually edit, how to trim the clips in the timeline, and in reality, Editing is simply choosing the beginning and the end of the clip that you want to use and putting it in the right order in the timeline. That's it. If you can master that, you are 90% of the way to becoming an incredible editor. The rest of the stuff is just fluff. And in CapCut, it's actually pretty easy. Let's go ahead and start to play this first clip. Now there you see that's where I'm starting to speak, so I want to trim it right before I start to speak. So I can just scroll back a tiny bit like this. And we wanna go ahead and add a cut right there. So I have the clip highlighted. In order to cut the highlighted clip, I just hit the split icon down here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see what I've done. 
and I want to get rid of that part, so I just click on it and hit the delete button down here, and now it should start correctly. Hey Jen, welcome to the show. Now I welcome Jen to the show, and I'm gonna put a little bit of a beat after it so it's not too tight, and I'm gonna click on the clip again, I'm gonna highlight it, and hit the split icon again. I'm not gonna delete all of this yet because I need more of it for the edit, but I'm gonna zoom in a little more so you can see that I have this first clip, and this is now one big long second clip. Now after this, I wanna add Jen, so the next thing we're gonna learn is how to reorder a clip. We put them in in about the right order, but we've gotta do a little bit of a little cleanup now, so I'm gonna just grab the phone because I need two fingers and I'm going to zoom in on the timeline a lot so we can see more. I'm going to scroll over here until I get to Jen. And to move a clip, let me put it down here again so you can see what's going on. This is the clip I want and I've already pre-trimmed this one. So I'm going to click and hold on it until the white bars go away. And now I can see it swapping places. So I just put it right here after the first clip. And now this should work correctly. This should be a, an actual clean edit. Let's click on it and see. Hey, Jen, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. I mean, I think. That's not bad. It was a little bit of a longer pause than I wanted after I spoke. So we're just going to zoom in a little so we have more fine control. And I can see I stopped speaking there. And I'm going to get rid of a little bit. So I'll just do it by hand right now. I'm just going to click on the clip itself and then hit the split button and then just delete the section here by tapping it and hitting delete. And now it should be a cleaner edit. Let's go ahead and play it. Hey, Jen, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. I mean, I think. <laughs> okay, so that's that's great. I'm going to quickly do that with the rest of the clips. Okay, it's all trimmed up, but we're going to make it better. If we listen to it, we can hear that I'm a little bit quieter than Jen. So next we're going to work on levels. I'm just going to click on me and I'm going to go down here to volume and I'm going to raise it up a bit, so I'm about the same level as Jen, somewhere around 300. And I keep calling her Jen like I know her. And let's see how it sounds. Hey, Jen, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. I mean, I think. And that sounds better, so let's go ahead and adjust all of them. I'll just do it for you real quick. And while we're doing levels, I've got this last clip here, and I don't want to use the audio from this clip. It doesn't really work with, with this silliness we're doing. So I'm just going to click on that one and just lower the volume all the way down and hit this check mark. So now we've got the audio levels pretty good. Um, let's do something that's a little bit advanced. I mean, not really. It's a one-click thing. But I tried to shoot this in my office here and make it close to what... Jen's set looked like with a dark background, but Jen's be Jen Jennifer's background is completely black. So I'm going to click on the clip of me in the timeline, and then I'm going to go over here to cut out. And let's see if it can do a good job of removing this background, even though there's not a lot of separation. If you want to remove the background without a green screen, you want to have the foreground very different from the background. Like I should have been much brighter than the background or vice versa to make this work well, but let's see how it does. All I do is I hit remove background and I hit click and let's see how it looks. Okay, a minor glitch, but not bad at all. We're gonna, we're gonna cover that later with, with some text. So let me just do that to all of them real quick without you having to go through the process. Background's been removed on all of these and dude, it almost looks like I was there with, with Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, if you didn't know, would you think I was actually interviewing her. And next, I happened to find a quote on YouTube where Jennifer Lawrence was talking about what she truly thinks of me. So we're going to overlay that clip onto this first, actually this second clip of me here. So to do that, we just click on overlay right here on the bottom, click on overlay again, add overlay. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on recents and scroll down to my Jennifer album. And we're going to click on photos because it's a still image. Here's that quote that I found. Totally not photoshopped. And that's about where I want it, right where I'm talking about it. So I'm just going to put it right there, um, covering my face. And I'm going to have it end before I'm done there by just dragging it over. This is an overlay. Even though it's on the bottom track, you can see that it's on top of me and it has the blue line around it because that's what we have highlighted. There's a couple things I want to do that are a little bit fancier. I don't want the quote to just pop on. I want it to fade on. So we're going to make sure the clip is highlighted, then select animation. And you'll notice that here we have 
animations for in the beginning of a clip and animations for out the end of a clip or for both. We want to add a fade into the beginning. So we're just going to slide to the slide our cursor left and find fade in, which is right here. We can choose the duration, half a second's fine. And then we're gonna click on out so we can choose the fade out. And it's right here, bam. And it's half a second in, half a second out. Let's have a look at it. And that looks pretty great. The next thing we wanna do is make me kinda of be blurred out a little bit because having the text over me looks, looks a little bit, a little weird. So we're going to go ahead and Click the check mark here to lock in what we just did. With this on top of me and me sharp behind there, it doesn't look great. So what I wanna do is fade me, blur myself out underneath there. In order to blur me out, we're gonna click here on the timeline and then click the back arrow. And you'll notice on top, we see this teardrop shape. That is the overlay that we added. If I click on it, the overlay comes back. If I click out of it and click the left arrow, we see it just here represented as a teardrop. We wanna blur me out starting right about here. So we are going to go ahead and click on effects and choose video effects. We're gonna type in blur so we can easily find it. And we'll scroll down and hey, here's just a plain old blur right here. And we can see that looks pretty, pretty darn good. We can adjust the amount and the range looks pretty good. Everything's set on full. We'll hit this down arrow and then hit cancel and click this check mark. And now we see that right when that starts, I'm all blurry. Whoa, it worked. But we want the blur to end right when the overlay ends. So we're just gonna just click on this handle and drag it back a little bit. And let's see how our timing is. So looks Looks great, right? What about text? Is it easy to add text in CapCut? Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and do it. Hit this back arrow. We wanna add text that are right near the beginning. And to do that, you simply click the back arrow till you see this text icon down here. We click on the text icon. Then we click on add text. And we just type what we wanna say. How about Jen's secret? I'm gonna click on animation so we can make it a little bit more fun and Creating animated text in CapCut is so much easier than even in advanced programs like Premiere Pro. So you get some pretty cool stuff that is just built in. I just want something soft and subtle. So let's go with blur, wipe right, click on the check mark, and we can do a lot more tweaking with this, but this is gonna be good enough for our needs. We're just gonna adjust slightly where it starts. So let's slide it over a little bit. We'll have it start in the very beginning of the spot. Then we'll lower it a tiny bit so it's not in my face. And let's have a look. Okay, that was too abrupt. So if we wanna make it slow down how quickly it wipes down, we're just gonna double click on it and click over on animation again. And down here is a slider that lets us increase the length of the actual animation. So I'll just make it a second and a half. We're gonna click on the check mark and now let's have a look. Hey Jen, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. I mean. I feel like that looks a lot better, but it just cuts off abruptly. So we wanna add an ending fade or something for it to come off of the screen. So we're just gonna make sure it's highlighted, click on animation. And over here, we're gonna choose out and we'll find a way for the clip to leave the screen. Let's just try blow away. Let's make it a little bit longer by dragging that slider out, then hit the check mark, and let's see how that looks. Hey Jen, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. I mean. One thing that really enhances an edit when it's appropriate is the music, and music is pretty simple to add here in CapCut. We're just gonna click anywhere outside of these clips, hit the back arrow, and we have audio. We're just gonna go to sounds, and then we have access to TikTok's music library. These sounds will probably be fine on TikTok, not have any copyright issues. If you use them for more than a few seconds on YouTube or Instagram, you might be hosed. That's why I use Epidemic Sound for my music. There's a link for that in the description below. But let's go ahead and try a TikTok sound and see if we get flagged on, on YouTube. That'll be fun. And we want something heartwarming. How about that? Heartwarming. Did I spell it right? I think so. Let's go ahead and try a couple things. Okay, this one isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and hit the plus sign. And it drops it in the timeline. It goes where you have the playhead lined up and it's not at the beginning, but I want it at the beginning. So I'm just gonna drag it to the left a little bit. And to do that, I have to click and hold it. Notice that the color changed. It got a little bit dimmer. 
that's how you know you can drag it. And now it's it's great. Let's see if it works good. Hey, Jen, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. I mean, okay, it sounds good. Let's just go ahead and lower the volume a little by highlighting it and dragging the volume down a bit. Hey, Jen, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. I mean, sounds good. Now it added the entire music track to our clip and we need to get rid of it. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the end and end it right here where Jen's just distraught that she can never have me. Jen, <laughs> yeah, she'll never see this. So we've got music through the whole thing. It's gonna be all dramatic, emotional. We've got text and all we gotta do now is just kind of fade it out. So I'm gonna click on the audio and choose fade and we're gonna fade out about that long. Click OK, I don't want it to fade in. Hi, thank you for having me. I mean, I think. And I think that'll be great. We have one little final touch to do, which is transitions. And it wouldn't make sense to put a transition at any of these cuts. Some people, when they're starting out, they'll put transitions everywhere and it looks like, you know, a wet, cheesy wedding video. But when people are just talking back and forth, you would never use a, a transition there. But when we go to a completely different scene, might be appropriate for a transition. Super simple to do. You just click on the transition point and all of the possible transitions show up down here. Since this is kind of over the top silly, let's just go ahead and roll with it and choose. Let's look at glare two or three. I can't see what that is. That's not bad. Let's make it a little bit longer. And as I make it longer, look what it'll do. It'll play it longer for me. I think that, you know, works close enough <laughs> for what we're doing and hit the check mark. By the way, you can apply this transition to everything, which you should probably never do, but that's an option. Hit the check mark. And now we've got that transition, which looks like that. One final thing before we export it, let's add a sound effect. To select a sound effect, we choose the audio icon, then we select effects, and here we have lots of sound effects, and luckily we can search for them, so let's go with a flash kind of a sound, see if they have such a thing. I've listened to several of them while you were watching. This one seems okay, sounds like this. Let's go ahead and add it by clicking the plus sign, and then we wanna line it up to the cut, which is right there. Let's see if it, it hits correctly. What do you mean? And obviously that didn't work, so we're going to slide it way over here, and it's the beginning of it that has the sound, so I'm gonna click and hold and put it right there, and let's see how it does. What do you mean? Close enough. If you turn the volume down, a lot of things that seem like they don't work, you know, work a lot better. So turn it way down, make it really subtle. And let's test it now. What do you mean? That's not bad, right? And we got the music going still. And that's really all there is to it. Is it? Is that under 15 minutes? Not even close. The only thing left to do is to export it. We already checked our settings and changed them. So it's 4K, 24 frames a second. Now we just click on this icon here and it automatically exports it that quickly in 4K. Now let's go ahead and watch our masterpiece. Hey, Jen, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. I mean, I think. <laughs> You've mentioned several times online that you find me really attractive. Would you leave your husband for me? That's a really good question. I don't know. I hate to break it to you, Jen, but I couldn't leave my wife for you. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, at least that wasn't weird. Yeah. To see how to find and download movie clips like the ones I used in this video, you want to watch this video right now.